Hi, Gary here from Mr G Shave, back for another Saturday shave. I'm a bit late today, I, uh, I had to go and get uh, a double jab, so I had a COVID-19 jab, uh, I think it was the Pfizer one, and the flu jab at the same time, so both arms are feeling a little bit jabbed. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, um, so yeah, that was at lunchtime, so it's now nearly two o'clock in the afternoon so this video I think probably will go up late I don't know um, it's always down to YouTube and how fast they process uh, I can get it up onto YouTube it can upload onto YouTube in probably about 20 minutes but it's how long uh, YouTube take to process the HD version so anyway right what am I using today so this um, is a repeat of the shave I did a few week, weeks back when I had to cancel the vi when I had to delete the video basically because it had no sound uh, or at least the first part of the sound had so much interference because I hadn't plugged it in properly and the second part I didn't switch the mic on it at all so um, yeah so I, this is the missing uh, Magnificent 11 video so this is Magnificent 11 number 9 um, may be a bit confusing but believe me if you look back through the videos you'll see what i mean um and the category for uh number nine is autopilot now last time i cho chose the razor rock lupo and this time i'm choosing the yaki tile so there you go the yaki has been used quite a lot recently um so here's the yaki it's the yaki tile head with the bolt handle now apparently this combination is called the delorean so um you know if you're looking for this particular combination you should be able, be able to find it under the name delorean if not just look for the yaki tile head with the bolt handle and in there i've got a feather blade with uh, on its third use third use so the bowl i'm using today is and I'm sure I've used this recently, um, Life Venture. So it's my Amazon, you can get these on Amazon, Life Venture, Ellipse Bowl, great bowl this, uh, nice budget bowl, cost a few pounds. Um, and then obviously I'm using my usual spray. Uh, this has still got the same water in from yesterday. I'll empty it after this shave. So that's all the hardware. Um, so it's Magnificent 11 number 9, it's the Autopilot Razor which is the Yaki Tile or the Yaki DeLorean. So I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, all ready for the shave, all lathered up. I didn't show you the brush, <laughs> but I've already lathered. Um, yeah, so the other bit of the hardware that was missing from my intro is the Yaki Evil Zebra. So that's the, the brush I'm using today. I do love this brush. It's a 26 millimeter. Um, synthetic brush really really nice um, love this brush so let's get some water on the subject oh yeah fantastic oh we need uh, yeah the the uh, pre-shave is going to be pears soap pears glycerin soap I'm a bit all over the place but out of routine and my arms are a little bit certainly one arm is sore I think that was where the Covid one went in <clears throat> so putting me off my stride a little bit I've got no other side effects I mean let's face it it's two o'clock it's two hours ago approximately I had the jab so But my arm's already a little bit sore on the one side. The flu side is nothing, nothing at all yet. <laughs> <coughs> so, right, here we go. The soap today, um, I forgot to bring the card down, but it's Seaside Soap and Skin Care, and it is uh, lavender. And I've just had a parcel today, this morning, um, with three soaps in it that I, I promised I was going to buy. So I, I basically got on, got onto them and, 
and they gave me a, a nice discount you know in a i think i was the first to actually introduce seaside soap and skin care um so they gave me a bit of a discount i'm not saying how much you know that's for me and them to know but they did give me a bit of discount because i started them off I, you know I, I started uh or i was the first youtuber to cover their soaps um and it was a little bit of a thank you which is great i sometimes do that you know i'll dip onto etsy i'll try it. i mean i got that um pre-show by pre-show soap i used um that was from etsy um not one that i would go running out to buy again it's a good pre-shave soap bar but it's it's not much use as a shaving soap oh, now the lavender on this is quite mild i would say the scent strength off the brush and out in in the bowl is about a three three out of ten but it's a nice pleasant relaxing calming lavender scent you can definitely get lavender that's for sure so here we go yaki tile feather blade with on its third use its third and final use i won't be using it again after this that feels great you can definitely feel the blade with a feather in it It just ups the efficiency of any razor. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put a feather blade, for instance, in a Moolah 41, or I would just to see what it's like, but I would expect it to be hyper aggressive. Fantastic. Wow, brilliant. I can tell it's on its third use and it's been sat in its wrapper and there must have been a little bit of moisture in there because there was a little bit of rust on the, on the blade. When you consider it's a stainless steel blade, it had some blemishes. Um, not bad ones, but just on the edge. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. And it's shaving really well. Oh, I'm looking forward to trying the three soaps that I've got. Really am. I'll probably over this is perfect. Hyd the level of hydration on this ladder is perfect for a straight razor shave i think i just over hydrated it a bit i don't think i'll add any water next on the next pass i don't think it's going to be required so across the grain on this side is straight up fantastic as always so the tile is one of those razors that is both excellent for the head and the face very comfortable shave very comfortable third pass and and this i mean as i've said before with seaside soaps and skincare the, the, the slickness increases with each pass 
but the scent I think also increases. I would, I'd still say it was a three out of ten, but it's more pronounced now. Um, really, really nice. Very pleasant. I think I prefer, you know, I think they've got one with lemongrass and lavender and they've got, they've got a few with lavender in it. It's obviously a, one of their favorite ingredients. Um, and it's very relaxing, I have to say. I do enjoy something with lavender in it, certainly in combo with anything else. I mean, this is fine, I wouldn't say it's my favourite out of all of their soaps, but I'd be happy to have it. Absolutely happy to have it. Right, so against the grain. Fantastic. So how's your weekend been? I hope you're all having a great weekend. We've got some nice weather at the moment. It's a little bit chilly. I think it got down to two degrees here last night. So yeah, it was... Um, it, it was cold last night, I must admit. And because my bedroom is in the loft, it's quite cold up there, even though it's well insulated, it's, it's still cold. So let's have a feel around. There's next to nothing left here. I, I normally, I, on any normal occasion, I mean, this would be fine for work. Um, but you know me, I like, I'm never satisfied with a DFS. I, I like to be BBS. So, so here we go. Now, I think I'm probably one of the only shavers on YouTube that actually does pretty much a full fourth pass, but it's because I chase BBS. And that's the only reason. And, you know, but I, I wouldn't recommend it for somebody who's starting out just go with the grain one pass keep doing that for a few weeks until you've got the muscle memory how to hold the razor and then do the two passes so you do with the grain then across the grain <clears throat> But yeah. Let's have a feel around. BBS. BBS. Right, I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. All nice and clean, post-shave feel from the Seaside Skin Care, Seaside Soap and Skin Care Company. It is excellent, second to none, second to none. Right, um, let's do the cold rinse. I don't need to use it. Well, I'll use the alum. I haven't used alum. 
for a little while other than on my straight shaves. No feedback. Little bit of feedback there, but it's already gone. No. I mean, if you give it a few seconds, it starts to burn. I would say it's about a one out of 10, sort of just here. Um, it's, it's really, really mild burn. And it's just, it's just dissipating that burning sensation. It, it, it sort of rises and then just falls off. And to me, that's excellent. And it's pretty well, I mean, yes, it was a bit more around here, but everywhere else it was the same sort of level, just a slight tingle, nothing really. I'm following that up with Lucky Tiger. Face tonic and aftershave, I believe it says aftershave and face tonic. I do like this, the scent of this. And for me, even though it's sort of got orange blossom and stuff like that in it, you know, it's got some flat floral scents, let's just say. It goes quite well with the lavender, I think anyway. Right, the aftershave is Old Spice. Where, where are we? We're there. There we are. Old Spice. next to no burn at all a couple of tingles in a couple of spots but really nothing oh fantastic and then i'm using my lavender scented um ted baker was it phase three or let's have a look step three post shave balm so I don't even know whether you can get this anymore. I got this for Christmas years ago, years and years ago, and I only found it in my cupboard and I've just been using it. So, um, but it's, it goes really well with anything with lavender in it. And I'm just gonna use that much. It's quite a thick cream. Oh yeah, full on lavender. <laughs> full on that's got a much stronger scent than than the um than the soap from seaside soaps much stronger right that's it ladies and gentlemen that's the end of today's shave i'm gonna try and do one on monday but i can't guarantee it there are some things that crop cropped up that might make it very difficult for me to get a video out on monday um but if i can i will so hopefully see you on Monday. If not, I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye now.